If you want to know the best crime movies, you should definitely watch our picks for the best ones of 2021. And guilt that pushes you down and keeps you down and makes you feel so powerless. We hope you will enjoy the following ranking. Please let us know your favorite in the comments and make sure to subscribe to never miss a good movie again. Number 10. Meeny, meeny, money, low. Catch a dead girl by her dog. The Little Things is a neo-noir crime thriller film written and directed by John Lee Hancock and stars Denzel Washington, Rami Malek, Jared Leto, and Natalie Morales. With a breathtaking cast and impressive visuals, The Little Things is the teaming up of an old-school deputy sheriff and a young, thick-headed sergeant. As their case to stop a serial killer who is terrorizing Los Angeles develops, they find themselves drawn into a mysterious past that may reveal things that have more to do with themselves than with the killer. Let me ask you a question. Why is that? Huh? Why is that? Number 9 Everyone meets Sebastian, unpronounceable last name, safecracker extraordinaire has a lifetime of theoretical expertise. Army of Thieves is a heist comedy film directed by Matthias Schweighofer and stars him alongside Natalie Emanuel, Ruby Ophie, and Stuart Martin. This colorful, adventurous prequel to Netflix's surprise zombie hit Army of the Dead combines gory horror tropes with fast-paced heist action. The story focuses on German safecracker Ludwig Dieter, who is recruited to join a group of aspiring thieves on a top-secret heist during the early stages of the zombie apocalypse. He has never applied his skills in real life. Until now, that is. It's so nice to be meeting you and joining the team! Number 8 Don't you touch that fucking phone! Don't you touch that phone! All right, I want everybody to give their money to this man here! Cherry is a crime drama film directed by Anthony and Joe Russo and stars Tom Holland, Ciara Bravo, and Jack Rayner. Impressing audiences with its deadly, realistic approach to real-life crimes and post-war trauma, Cherry follows a drug addict, Iraq medic, who stumbles into a hellish spiral of bad decisions, injustice, and crime. To feed his inner demons and greed for the next high, he finds himself robbing banks, shattering every relationship he had. Everyone give your man this money! Now! <laughs> Shit! What the fuck is wrong with you? Give me the fucking gun! Fuck, man! Get this and get the fucking cash and go! Ma'am, get off the fucking phone! Number seven. Well, he might know something. No, he doesn't know something! Bill, we're not gonna send an innocent boy to jail. My daughter is innocent. Stillwater is a crime drama film directed by Tom McCarthy and stars Matt Damon, Camille Cotton, and Abigail Breslin. Unemployed and with no power in his hands whatsoever, Bill embarks on a trip to France in order to see his imprisoned daughter, who claims her innocence. Swearing to take justice into his own hands, he is quickly confronted with language barriers, cultural differences, and a legal system which he can't understand. But an unlikely companion may help him out. You live in some fancy ass world, honey, because I work with guys like that all the time. No, but it doesn't matter, okay? It's not right. I'm not saying it's right. I'm trying to get my little girl out of jail. That's all I give a fuck about. Number six. I don't have the combination I safe. That's okay, his secretary does. And from what we understand, you have the combo to his secretary. No Sudden Move is a period crime thriller film directed by Steven Soderbergh and stars Don Cheadle, Benicio Del Toro, David Harbour, John Hamm, and Amy Simons. Combining an excellent past with a nostalgic throwback to director Soderbergh's best pieces, No Sudden Move captures the spirit of old-school crime movies with modern style. When a bunch of small-game criminals are hired to steal what should have been a simple document, everything goes wrong, sending them on a mission to find out who's responsible. Dad, he knows Mr. Ford. You don't know anybody. Get in the room. Hey, do not be a hero. Do you understand me? Do not. All right. Number five. Who's allowing this to happen? As far as fakes go, they're pretty good. I mean, I'd, I'd buy them. <laughs> don't be such a cretin. House of Gucci is a biographical crime drama film directed by Ridley Scott and stars Lady Gaga, Adam Driver, Jared Leto, Jeremy Irons, Salma Hayek, and Al Pacino. 
It's shocking, violent, ruthless, and most of all, stylish. Showcasing the extravagant rise of the Gucci family, the film lets us become first-hand witnesses of how the legacy triggers a reckless spiral of betrayal and crime. A stranger, Patrizia Reggiani, marries into the family from poor conditions. Their power system slowly begins to crumble, ultimately leading to catastrophe. This is serious, and you're laughing it off. Well, at least it's my name on the mugs, not yours. Our name, sweetie, on junk. Number four. What was your name? Cruella. Oh. Mm. Cruella is a crime comedy film directed by Craig Gillespie and stars Emma Stone, Emma Thompson, Joel Fry, and Paul Walter Hauser. This live-action adaptation of the world's classiest and most fashionable villain ever takes the icon to the 70s punk rock era. Set in London, the film follows young and ambitious Estella, who dreams of designing her own clothes. When she befriends a clan of thieves, we slowly see her become the horrifying icon we know her today. Oh, no wonder I love it. It's mine. I fixed it. Oh, Sid, do, I insist, I'm intrigued, <laughs> and that never happens. Number three. I would not let him tell me. My fate was a shack in a slum. The White Tiger is a drama film written and directed by Ramen Barani and stars Adarsh Gaurav, Priyanka Chopra, and Rajkumar Rao. Beautifully acted and crafted, this story is narrated with dark humor and raw honesty as we follow ambitious driver Balram Halwai on his rise from poor villager to successful entrepreneur in modern India with big obstacles to overcome. But on the verge of losing everything, Balram rebels against a rigged and unequal system to rise up and become a new kind of master. Crews around picking up and dropping off paying customers. Delhi has many pickup points. Over time, you will learn them all. Number two. What's that? Your half. That's split, 50-50. Not interested. I got what I wanted. Nightmare Alley is a neo-noir psychological thriller film directed by Guillermo del Toro and stars Bradley Cooper, Kate Blanchett, Tony Collette, Willem Dafoe, Richard Jenkins, and Rooney Mara. This modern thriller with a surprisingly pulpy twist begins with an ambitious carny who has a talent for manipulating people with a few well-chosen words. He wonders how a man could fall so low and vows that anything like that will never happen to him. But then he hooks up with a female psychiatrist. She keep this for me. I don't want Molly to know about it anyway. Why don't you keep it for a few days? If you change your mind, we'll split it 50-50. And if not, I'll keep it. Before we unveil movie number one, here are a few honorable mentions. California Highway Patrol. It's Joe. We have her. She came down. What, wait, what, what, you, you, you. Uh -huh. We have her. You, you could be the bad guy, and I could be the, the other bad guy. You're right. I'm the bad guy. Now shut up and give me the bag before I shoot you in the mouth. I'm going I'm I'm to give this to you. Good. Yeah, I'm just going to give it to you because I don't even want it. I need your fucking opinion. I'm going to pick what I want. What if? Yeah, come on. Do me a favor. Give me that far out shit. Far out, man. Number one. Get in the truck next time, you fuck nut! Sorry, pal. Wrath of Man is an action thriller heist film directed by Guy Ritchie and stars Jason Statham, Holt McAlany, Josh Hartnett, Laz Alonzo, and Scott Eastwood. As the final reunion of stylish director Ritchie and action legend Statham, Wrath of Man sees a burned-out cash truck driver surprising his co-workers when they become the target of a money heist, suddenly showing precise and cruel gun skills to protect the truck. One is left wondering who he is and where he came from. Who did you work for? Suck my fucking dick! What did you say? I said suck my fucking dick! Suck your own dick. Do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments. If you want to know more about a particular movie in this list, you can check out our links in the video description. And for more top 10 movie videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV.